So I'm going to demonstrate how to use the wildcard module to handle dynamic links. And the example I'm going to use is uh, to display a list of blogs. So I'm going to create a blogs item here. Now the blogs item is going to display a list of blogs. The list of blogs is going to come from an external system. Um, and then for each blog that's listed, I want to display a hyperlink that will take the visitor to another Sitecore page that displays details about that particular blog. Now, in order to display the details for the blog, uh, that's information that's coming from the external system as well, and that external system requires that I pass two pieces of information, the group name and the blog name. So I need to somehow be able to transmit that information, and I'm going to use the URL to do that, uh, and Sitecore wildcards are going to allow me to do that from the Sitecore side. So I'm going to create a couple of wildcards items, and these are going to represent the, the dynamic parts of the URLs. I've got two of them. Uh, I'm going to change the display name for these items just so they're a little easier for me to keep track of. So the first variable is group name. The second variable is going to be the blog name. So again, what I'm doing is I've got a list of blogs, and then for each blog I'm going to generate a dynamic URL that will take me over to the blog name item. And let me just change the title here to be blog details. And next I need to go down and configure the wildcard module. Uh, first thing I need to do is define tokens. Tokens are going to represent the variable parts of the dynamically generated URLs. So in this case I've got two wildcards, I've got two dynamically generated parts of the URL, so I need two tokens. I need one for group name, and I need one for blog name. Now the names of the tokens aren't important, they're just symbols. The token value uh, is important, but it's something that you have control over, and we'll see where those values come from a little bit later. But for right now, they're just these tokens are just symbols. Uh, that represent the variable parts of the dynamically generated URLs. Next thing I have to do is I have to tell Sitecore uh, which token belongs in which position, and that's done through a route. Uh, so I'm going to go into routes, create a new route, and this is a route for the blog. And the route has two pieces of information. The first is the item that the route applies to. And you can select one or more items. Uh, this route is going to apply to the blog name wildcard item. Okay, and then that blog name wildcard item has two wildcards in it. It's got group name and blog name. So two places that tokens are going to be need to be inserted. Uh, so I can figure that through the rules. If the item has wildcards, then there is the action that I want to use to replace the wildcard with a token. There are two wildcards and two tokens, so I'm going to create two actions. Now the first action is going to be to replace the wildcard at position 1 with the group name token, and the second action is to replace wildcard at position 2 with the blog name. So I'm going to save that, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to configure the control that's going to display the list of blogs. And to do this, I'm going to go into the page editor, I'm going to show the navigation bar so I'm able to get over to the blogs item, go to it, go into design mode, and I'm going to add a new control to the content placeholder. I'm going to go into sub layouts, and the wildcard module comes with a couple of sub layouts. The first one I'm going to use is display dynamic URLs. And then I need to edit the properties um, because what this is doing is it's it's going to go to an external data source, which currently is hard coded, uh, and then from that external data. I'm going to generate dynamic URLs. The dynamic URLs need to point to a Sitecore item, and that's what the target item identifies. OK, 
Okay, so for each blog, I want to show the blog details item. So that's the blog name wildcard. Okay, save this. And now I'm going to go into preview mode and explain what we're seeing. Okay, so um, the a lot of what this control is doing is just displaying some debugging information. First thing is the target item path, so that's the Sitecore item that I selected in the control properties. The next thing is the URL before rules. The idea here is we've got this wildcard item. Sitecore is able to generate a URL for that wildcard item, uh, but there are wildcards. There's not specific information in there, so Sitecore uses this comma hyphen W notation to indicate a wildcard. The next thing is, after the routing rule has been applied, those wildcards are replaced with the token values. So the rule was the first the wildcard at the first position is replaced with the group name token, and the wildcard at the second position is replaced with the blog name token. So we see that in the URL after rules. And then the final thing is this sub layout goes to the external data source, uh, reads the blogs, and then plugs in the information, the, the details. So the group name is replaced with a specific group name, and the blog name is replaced with a specific blog name. Okay, so how is that done? Well, if I go to the code behind for the sub layout, Most of the code in here is in, is used to just display the HTML information. Uh, we start with a page load method. Uh, this gets a sample data. So this is that hard-coded test data that I have in here. If I come down here, all this is is a list of name value collections. So this is where the token name and the associated token value are defined. And so this, uh, in a real world situation, this method might be going out to that external uh, blog service, uh, getting the blog information from that URL, and then just uh, converting the, the blog data into a name value collection. Once we have the sample data, then there's a, a wildcard rendering object that just is going to make it a little easier to get to the target item property, uh, which is on the the sub layout. So the target item is a site core item, and as long as the site core item isn't null, uh, then I'm going to call the get information method, which is going to pass that site core item along with the description that I want to display above the table and the sample data that I want to plug in to the dynamically generated URLs. And then in the get information method, um, first thing I do is I use the wildcard provider. And the wildcard provider has this method get wildcard URL, and that takes a Sitecore item. And what this method does is it gets a Sitecore item, uh, it goes over to the routing, it finds the route that corresponds with that Sitecore item. So in this case, a blog name is the item. It's going to find this route. It's going to get the URL for that Sitecore item. It's going to apply the rules to that URL, and then it's going to give me an object back that has all of this information. So the information is the the original URL, so the URL with the uh, hyphen, the comma hyphen W notation. It's going to give me the URL after the rules are applied, which uh, has the token values inserted. Uh, it's also going to give me the ability to generate these dynamic URLs. Okay, so some code to just create the table, uh, display some of the information, and then here is where I'm using the, the TS variable. That is the output from the get wildcard URL method, from this method up here. And this is the object that, that has the information that I want to display. So value before replace, that's the uh, URL before the rules. Next thing I want to show is values after the replace, and that is the URL after the rules, so when the token values have been inserted where the wildcards are. And then I loop through the sample data 
for for each record in the sample data. I call this method on that TS object to replace tokens. And all that's doing is it is taking this URL and for each token it's going to look in the sample data for a value or, or for a key that matches that and then it's going to insert the value from that. Again if I go down to my sample data I can see that I'm using the name value collection object so it's just doing a, a string replace for the token and then putting in the value. Okay, so that is how the URLs are generated. Next thing I need to consider is when I click on one of these URLs, how do I display the detail information? Okay, so now I'm on the wildcard item and I'm going to go back into edit mode and I'm going to add a new control here to the content placeholder and this is where I'm going to use the display token values sample sub layout. So I select that, save my changes, go back into preview mode and just for a little bit of readability I'm going to remove some of those parameters from the end um, and now I can see the control. So again this control displays a lot of debug information to kind of explain what is going on. Uh, first thing is what is the URL I'm currently on? Uh, next is what is the Sitecore item path for the item that I'm currently on? That shows me that my wildcard item uh, and then once I have that I'm able to uh, get, call the uh, the wildcard provider. Wildcard provider gives me access to this other information. So the URL before the rules applied, URLs after the rules applied. Um, and then what I'm able to do is kind of do the reverse of what I did in the in the previous example. So instead of having the the values that I want to plug into the URL, I want to read the values from the URL. So I'm able to read out the tokens and just display those values. So how is this done? Well, if I go into the code behind for my other sub layout, on my page load, I have the get URL information. That's just a local method that's going to take the current URL, the current item, and then the description that I want to show uh, on the control. And here, once again, I've got a Sitecore item, so I'm able to call that wildcard provider to get the wildcard URL. That gives me my TS object. Um, and then the TS object has the value before the replace, value after the replace. This is the same information that I showed in the previous example. Um, what's different in this case, though, is I've got a, a method on the TS object called find token values, and this takes a string. So what I'm passing into this method is the current URL. And what the, the TS object is able to do is it's able to figure out that uh, group 2 is really the value for the group name token uh, and blog C is the value of the uh, blog name token. And then that creates a collection that I'm able to loop through. And that's what I'm doing here. So find token values passes the current URL, gives me a, a collection of tokens, and then I just loop through those co those tokens. Again, it's a name value collection object uh, where each token is the key, and the the value from the URL is the value. And that's how I'm able to retrieve that information. Um, now I'm not doing anything with this information, but the idea is once I'm able to identify what the group name and the blog name are, then I can, it, within this sub layout, I can make a call to my blog system and retrieve the data that I need.